As part of our back to school coverage promise, we're here to help you navigate all the changing information. Today, that meant answering your questions about kindergarten through second grade students slowly returning to school. Here's what we found out. Spokane County Health Officer Dr. Bob Lutz explained he made this decision now, not because of public pressure, but based on the latest data trends. The plans that have been uh, developed by a number of school districts that are looking to do this also reflect a very calibrated approach to bringing back students into an in-person environment that is safe for them and for staff. Right now, there is no definite answer for when third through 12th grade students will return to in-person instruction, but Spokane and Central Valley School Districts say they will be following future health district guidelines. As for masks, both districts encourage parents to help their students practice wearing them. Not climbing on the bleachers, washing their hands. Those are all things that we teach our kindergarten students every year. And our, our kindergarten teachers do that and they work incredibly hard and they're, they're very successful in that. And this will be no different. Uh, they'll have to teach uh, some new expectations. Both districts will be providing bus transportation and masks for students to wear. Central Valley buses will be used at 50% capacity to ensure social distance. Spokane will allow two or one student per seat windows will remain open and buses will be cleaned thoroughly before each run. We're asking our parents if you have the wherewithal to transport your own child to school that you plan to do that. Central Valley and Spokane schools will also require all students and staff entering its buildings to do a daily health screening. A child who is symptomatic, that child will go to a uh, a room in our building, we'll ask that, that parent to come pick them up. We also are prepared to conduct contact tracing. We will keep asking questions and getting answers you need to navigate back to school. For more information on these school reopening guidelines, text the word district to 509-448-2000. Amanda Rowley, CREM2 News.